Look at this. I cannot wait to do this. <laughs> CC gonna fight me over this thing. Okay, so y'all tonight, what I wanted to do is, so we got these bottles, okay? I don't know where they came from. I hope they don't belong to somebody who's watching. If they do, um, honey, just uh, just pretend they went on to Jesus, honey, because they're home now, all right? So anyway, I was at the Target, you know, and they had these really cool skeleton lights. You know up there in the section where they have like the cheap dollar stuff, y'all? Like stuff would be like $5. Christine, you know what I'm talking about, honey, right? Constance. Listen, you know what I'm talking about because I went to Target with Constance. P.S. She has the fanciest damn Target I've ever been to in my life. Do you know that her snobby ass Target has an elevator or an escalator for the damn carts? I'm not kidding. Because they have a big ass two story Target. You get up there and when you can go downstairs, honey, your cart has its own escalator, boo. Right on down. I mean, Constance, I said, Constance, let's race the damn carts to see if we can win. She said, go right ahead. <laughs> she sure did let me run down that escalator. She didn't give a damn. Okay, anyway. So, if right in the front, you know, they have that little $5 section. You know what I'm talking about? So, look. Let me show you these little lights they have. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Oh, that was scary. That's really zoomed in. All right, so here's what they look like. Are right, you seeing? <laughs> Skeletor. Okay, so I'm gonna turn them on. The thing I like about these is they have a little timer. So if I turn it on like right now, it's gonna stay on for like eight hours or like six hours or something, and it's gonna go off, and then the same time tomorrow night, it'll come on again. These are four dollars. I'm not even kidding. These are four dollars. Look at them, aren't they cool? I mean, in the color changing, it's like, it's very random. It's it's always smooth. There's no blinking. You know what I'm talking about? Constance, I got not that basket. Oh my God. And I thought I was going to tip it over for real. It was a mess. You should have seen me and Constance up at the damn Target. We had a good ass time too. And I still have that fur vest I got. All right, so what I wanted to do with these I thought, okay, so what I would do, I would put them in the bottle, okay, and make it light up, okay? So that's what I did with this bottle. So look, can you see? So now, look, isn't that cool? It's all nice. Now, I want to, this is a very special message to my friend Alexis. Now, we were talking on the post with her today. She said that she felt embarrassed about her crafting and stuff because she said she felt like it didn't look good or whatever, and, um, that she was afraid that people were gonna make fun of her. But well, listen, uh, let me show you that, you know, sometimes I said, I said, you know, I've gone live, honey, and I've made some real shit live. Well, this is one of those moments, Alexis. Let me show you. So I was decided uh, I was gonna hand paint a damn skull. All right, I want you to look real close. Can you see him? He got like four eyes. He got no nose. Now, I want you to see this mess. I mean, that's a hot damn mess. I was like, well, I'm going to scrape this off and start over. But then I was like, you know what? I was reading the post today, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave it imperfect because this is the reality, <laughs> okay? There is no perfection around here, honey. You are free to be yourself and show your screwed up craziness, okay? Yeah, I'm live, boo. Genie, I am live, honey. One, two, three, four, come on, Jeannie, say you love me, love, say, seven times. Had a little pimple breakout, look at me. Got glitter everywhere. Looks like a squid. Karen, yeah, what do y'all think this looks like? If I didn't tell you it was a skull, what does it look like? I think it looks like a baby doll house. Okay, so I was like, I gotta come up with a better solution. So I think I figured out a better solution. So let me share it with y'all. So I'm going to um, just move this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, what I'm drawing. So what had happened was that I was up at the storehouse. I got to put these aside. I am in love with these. I need to figure out how to frame and keep these. I am really in love with this. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to open this card later because I know it's going to make me cry. Okay.
Can y'all see me? Other oh, y'all just looking at my boobs. I know you are. I'm about to sit on the floor. Y'all, I'm watching this conspiracy theory show. Right now, it's about 9/11. You know, I shouldn't watch stuff like this because I get real wound up. So I just shouldn't. You know. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I found this paper. It's in heat. I almost have it right. <laughs> Keep moving closer. Hello. <laughs> Okay, hey Marley, how you doing? Y'all, bear with me while I get this little angle right. There we go, now I'm like Max Hedger. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I found this here paper, actually at Publix, at, in like the little poster board section, y'all know what I'm talking about? Look. You see this, it comes in a little pack, and it's an adhesive, you understand? It's a sticker. A sticker. So I was like looking at my little mess of a skull and I was up there, you know, picking me out some squashes. And I said, Lord, help me. I had to found some glitter paper that sticks on the back. So what I'm going to do is just draw something on the back of it, cut it out and stick it on the bottle. And that's going to look a whole lot more better than me trying to freehand with some baby glue. Okay? Yes, I did freehand that with baby glue. So it took like four days for the shit to dry. That baby glue takes forever to dry. I don't know if it's even meant to dry. I think it's just meant for them to squirt around and make a mess. Anyway, I'm getting hot. Give me a second. Y'all, I had lost this fan for like three days. So tonight I was walking around, picking some stuff up, picking some garbage up. I'm standing up at the counter. All of a sudden, I'm standing there and what is in my hand? This fan. I hadn't been able to find it for three days. I had no idea where it was. Out of nowhere, this thing is in my hand. It might have some, it might have powers. I'm gonna hold on to this one. Yo, I added a little, um, ex ow, shoot, I just burnt my damn arm hair. It smells like old popcorn in here. Damn. Look at that, you see that? So I took some of the glitterific and put just a touch of the glitterific on there. And I thought that it just gave it a nice sparkle. So now that I know that it works well, I'm actually making one of these for a friend. So I had to test it out on one for me, make sure it wasn't gonna be a mess and fling glitter everywhere. But it turns out uh, it channels magic powers. Okay. Yo, I've learned all kinds of tricks. Let me show you. Here's one right here. Just the. It's not even automatic. It's not even automatic. It's not the best angle for me. I'm all bunched up. I look like I sit out in front of one of those Japanese state houses greeting people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And with his belly's all rubbed out, all the dirt um, tarnish is rubbed off the belly. The only thing that shines is the belly from my hands rubbing on it. Anyway, it is like a magic fan. Look at that. You can go like that, you can drop it. Listen, I have to highly recommend one of these nylon fans. I probably should buy stock, but I don't have any money, so I won't. But these are really good for making a point. When someone's being an asshole, there ain't nothing better than having a fan, no matter what they say. When your response starts with this. I mean, really, you really don't need to say much more. Because first of all, don't scare the shit out of them. I need to get to my craft. So what do y'all think I should do? Give me some, um, on this pink bottle, here's the color papers I have. I got blue, we got silver, magenta, black, you know, just name a damn color. So I'm gonna choose a color. Y'all give me something like to draw, like Halloween themed. And I'm talking about like simple. I don't mean like draw the blood moon with a witch, uh, you know, in the clouds. Talk about something we're gonna stick on the side of this here bottle, okay? So y'all give me a little something. Give me an idea. I'll sit here and vape uh, while you think, while you untuck the phone from your breast, start to type. Why am I using this vape pen? I don't even use that anymore. I got this one. Bam! Look at this. What? Hey! A cauldron. 
Sandra, a cauldron is just an upside down pumpkin. Bats. Ooh, I like bats. I like bats. A ghost. Okay. Y'all put up some hearts if you like my e-cigarette, my vape pen. What do you call it? What do the young folks call it? You know, I'm 30, so I'm a little out of touch with the young people. Hope it I'm not. Okay, ghost, bats. Okay. Hey, Kia, how you doing, boo? Bat and witch hat. All right, so we're going to go with a bat, y'all. So let's go with a, um, let's go with a black bat. What do you think? Look at this glitter. Look at this paper, y'all. Can you believe this? This is from Publix. Okay? So, black cat, witch hat. Okay, you are grossly overestimating my drawing skills. So, I just found this little permanent pen, so this is what I'm going to use, y'all. I'm going to do a bat. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if that even looks like a bat. Does that look like a bat? He looks like a sissy bat, y'all. He ain't real tough. That's all right. Bats don't have to be tough. Sometimes bats have hearts. Speaking of which, y'all can give me, give me some hearts or something if you're watching. If you can. Jody. What you been doing? I like webs. I don't know how I can cut out some damn webs, though. Okay. Where's the scissors? I couldn't even find... Y'all, I'm a mess. I gotta get my crafting stuff back together because I couldn't find my own scissors. So I had to borrow CC's. Now I can't even find those. Where are they at? Did I get them? Here they are. Okay, watch this. Hey, Sonia, how you doing, boo? Yay, Dewan is here! Pass out the drinks. Hold on, I'm coming up there in a second, Dewan. I got a button for you to push. All right. I'm going to cut out just a little circle. Here so y'all can see. Let me try not to burn my arm hair off this time. Seriously, y'all, that stunk up the whole room. You know that burnt hair? That smell, it's like burnt popcorn. It just doesn't go away. Y'all, I'm watching this 9-11 conspiracy series. Well, actually, it's just a series on conspiracies. Can you see how I'm cutting? Here, I'll do it this way. You can see it's prettier for you to look at it this way. Oh, they think it was remotely flown? I mean, people think a lot of things, though, don't they? Whatever. It's on Netflix, honey. Take it with a grain of salt. It ain't... What you call it? What's up? Ow! God dang! I finally burnt my arm, y'all. Oh, devil's a liar. Y'all, we asked our friend Chanel tonight um, to do our... Christmas pictures. Y'all have no idea. We have the funniest freaking pictures this year. We had done. What do y'all think? There's my little bat. You like him? He's cute. Lindsay, what was it that you said? I feel like you had a good one too. I made a mental note that you had a good idea, but I couldn't remember what the idea was. And if I scroll up, it's gonna mess up the chat. It'll stop scrolling on its own. Where's the damn? Adhesive. There we go. So we're going to take off this back. I love Constance so much. Alright, so we're going to do this one. Alright. What do y'all think? Ooh, it's so spooky. Alright. Oh, I have an idea. Let's do a moon. What do y'all think? We should do a moon, shouldn't we? Do I have something I can do like gold? Oh, I'll use this white one. Let's do the moon. 
Sonia, in this paper, great. I got it from um, Publix, from the little section where they have like the poster boards and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Where they, and then um, they also have these little light up, these little lights that you can stick into posters as well. All right, there's my little moon. All right, what should we add next? Maybe a ghost. I think somebody said a ghost. All right, so where should we put the moon? What do you think so far? Let's keep adding. What do you think? All right. So let's turn it this way. Let's add a little something here. Let's do a... Um, I don't know. Let's do something green. What can we do that's green? Oh, a pumpkin. Let's do a pumpkin. I think Jeannie said a pumpkin. Jeannie, I think you said pumpkin, right? Didn't you? Here's orange. Okay. Drawing a pumpkin is going to be a, a challenge. Okay. Ooh, there's something on this paper. Ooh. something for the stem. Man, I do not like using these kid scissors. It looks a little bit more like a bell pepper, so I'm glad I'm not doing it on, um, oh, there I go burning my arm here. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm glad I'm not cutting this out of green paper. It really does look like a bell pepper. That's all right. I'm going to cut a little stem too, y'all. Pumpkin. Well, maybe when it's spread out like that. <laughs> Y'all, that was like a mess. Okay, I'm gonna use this little scrap to make a little stem. Okay, so let's add this little here pumpkin. You hang right about there. Oh, that's cute. Okay, hold on. I gotta add a stem, y'all. That looks like a pumpkin, right? I am right here. I can't really do anything else. So what do you think? I like that. So let's go ahead and fill it up with something. I think it'll help when we fill it up with some of these lights. So let's start filling them up, okay? Bum, 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 bum. Here, I'm going to um, zoom in on this. Can you see the bottle? The Halloween bottle. Now let's untangle this endless web of lights. You know, you're going to have to stick them in there one at a time, honey. Trust me, I did this other bottle, and um, these little skulls are 
precarious. Okay. Real life. Oh my god. You're about to see me throw these things out in the front yard. Where's the end of this thing? Oh my god, this is like my personal hell. Am I in hell? You know, sometimes when I peel the oranges, I smell the cuckoo bird. There's the end. There's the end. Hearts, people. Put your hearts up. What? What? Here, I'll do this. Over. I think you can see it better over here with chat, the way the chat is. What you doing, Sandra? Mama Love Dictionary, LOL. You like to read, Sandra? Okay. Replying. Oh, it's giving me migrants. I'm trying to read these replies. I need um, that um, impaired type on my um, phone. Y'all, what do y'all think? This is going to be cool. I like this with all the little glitter and little touches on it. It does add a little something to it when you start adding the lights. It does make that glitter kind of pop. Oh, how did I do that? Y'all see that? I banged it on the table and um, it changed colors. What? Is that, is that what I got to do? That's fun. Oh my god. I swear, I really thought I had these untangled, but I tell you, I really, I possibly did it in my mind last night before bed, and never actually followed through with untangling. I do that a lot with things in my mind. I do them, and then it's settled, and then I'm like reminded, oh no, I, I didn't do that, you know. And I think untangling these lights is one of those things because I really was trying to avoid it. Y'all ever do that? Can I just cut it? Y'all know if I can just cut these? I guess I can't cut it from the power supply. It's stupid. Oh, I think it's official. My ADD medicine has worn off because I am starting not to give a damn about these lights. And that is the truth, Jesus. And you know it. Y'all, excuse me. Me and the Lord will have a conversation about these lights. First of all, Lord, I want you to ignore the fact that they're scary skeletons. I know you don't like Halloween, but my daughter does, so I'm making no crafts, okay? I'm gonna keep shoving these things in here, honey. I'm following through with it. Oh, yeah! All right, so look. We're calling this done. This is my little Halloween bottle. There's my pumpkin, my bat, we got the scary moon. Look at that now, let's turn out the lights and take a good look at it. What? Look at this gorgeous Halloween bottle, y'all. Perfect for your party. Perfect for your heart. Perfect for your life. And it's the crescent moon. Y'all, this is cute, right? So we're gonna call this one done, honey. We're gonna chalk this one up a success. Maybe not so much my hand-drawn skull. But they're not all winners, okay? But I sure did have fun, and I hope y'all did too. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to get off of here so I can actually read the comments, because if you knew how far away from me uh, you actually were, you would laugh that I'm trying to read them right now. Y'all like kind of far away.
So thank you for watching, thank you for sharing, thank you for participating, and thank you for contributing to the group. Uh, and even if that's just by liking stuff that you see and not just passing it by, because that's how it um, keeps showing up in everyone's feeds and keeps us close. So thank you so much. I love y'all. Have a fabulous evening and stay dreams. Sparkle on, y'all.